Hi, I'm Ms. Hall, and this is Lesson 10, Focus and Directrix of a Parabola, Part 1. Previously, you learned that the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola that opens up or down. A parabola can also be defined as the set of all points x and y in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point called the focus and a fixed line called the directrix. Okay, so this is a new way to describe a parabola. You can describe a parabola by its directrix and focus. So we have a sample parabola here. The focus is a point and it is on the axis of symmetry. The directrix is a line perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. And the vertex of the parabola lies halfway between the focus and directrix. Now as this definition defines, points are equidistant from the focus and directrix. So you can see these markings on the diagram that are showing that all points on a parabola are equidistant from the point called the focus and the line called the directrix. So now we're going to look at standard equations of a parabola with the vertex at the origin. We'll begin with parabolas that open upward or downwards, the ones that you're used to seeing. The equation is y equals 1 fourth px squared, where the focus is 0 comma p and the directrix is y equals negative p. I put an example graph here. I think it's most helpful. So if we have an equation like y equals 1 eighth x squared, we need to first determine that p value. So this coefficient of x squared, 1 eighth, we need to figure out what p is if the standard coefficient is 1 over 4 p. Now you probably can see from here that p is going to be 2. p is going to equal 2. And if you don't, or as the problems get harder, how I recommend to calculate for p is to cross multiply. You have a proportion here. 4p equals 8. Divide both sides by 4 and you get that p equals 2. Okay, p equals 2 means that the focus is 0 comma 2. Okay, this is the focus. 0 comma 2. And the directrix is y equals negative p, so y equals negative 2. This is the directrix, y equals negative 2. And as a reminder, so this parabola that has a focus at 0, 2, and a directrix at y equals negative 2, we can see that points in the parabola are equidistant between those two points and line, between those two items. Um, so we have the vertex here that is two spaces away, two units away from the focus and two units away from the directrix. And we have a point out here uh, that is four units from the focus and four units from the directrix, right? Okay, so that's a standard parabola. Now, if we go to what I'm gonna call a sleeping parabola, but that is definitely not an official term. So if the parabola is sideways, opens up sideways, the general equation is x equals one over four p y squared, where the focus is p comma zero, and the directrix is x equals negative p. Again, we'll look at an example. I need to identify the p value. I know that 1 eighth is the coefficient, and in the formula, the coefficient is 1 over 4 p. I can see that I gave you the same p value of p equals 2. But now the focus is 2 comma 0. It's, the focus is p 0. So this is 2 comma 0. And the directrix is x equals negative 2. This is x equals negative 2, and that is the directrix. 
Let me answer this question before you type it in your WTQ. Yes, you will be expected to memorize these formulas. Example two, graphing an equation of a parabola. Identify the focus, directrix, and axis of symmetry of negative four equals y squared. Graph the equation. Since y is squared, I know this is gonna be a sideways parabola. And so I'm gonna to wanna to get this equation in terms of x. To get x by itself, I can divide both sides by negative four. And I get that x equals negative one four y squared. Okay, so now I've got it in the form that I want. I need to now find the p-value. So I'll look at this coefficient, negative one-fourth, when standard form is one over four p, and figure out what p is. I can cross multiply if I want. So this is negative four p equals four. Right, this negative up front of the fraction goes with either the numerator or denominator, not with both. In general, I put it with the numerator. Uh, divide both sides by four, p equals negative one. Okay, now I've got to remember the formulas from the front. Okay, so this is a sideways parabola. p is negative one, which means that the focus is negative one comma zero. Focus is p comma zero, so negative one comma zero is the focus. The directrix is x equals negative p, and negative p is one. So x equals one is the directrix. And now I know where the vertex is. It's gonna be midway between the focus and directrix. Right here is the vertex. And the parabola is gonna open towards the focus. I am just gonna sketch it. I am not gonna plot any points. Say that the, it's something like this, roughly. So I've identified the focus, the directrix, the axis of symmetry. Um, lies on the vertex, and now that it's a sideways parabola, there's the y value of the vertex. So this is the axis of symmetry, and this is y equals zero. It is the x-axis, or in other words, y equals zero. And now I've done all the parts.